Welcome back to River City Live. Fall brings so many opportunities for crafts and costumes, but let's talk treats because I think that's the most important thing. And Rebecca Reed is back to join us and show us a preview of the fall caramel class. She's teaching this Saturday at Matthews. And before we get into the process, I just want to know, is it caramel or caramel? It's whatever you'd like it to be. All right. and it, it's gooey either way. <laughs> What's our first thing step? Is, <laughs> it's tricky because working with any candy, is, and this is what you do as a, as a pastry chef and a teacher, and working with candy is tough. Things can go south quickly, right? Definitely. This is one of those recipes you really want to make sure that you keep your eye on throughout the entire process. But what I really love to do as a restaurant pastry chef is actually bring some of my professional tips and tricks of the trade into people's home kitchens. And this is a wonderful one because caramel is actually all about burning stuff. Right. We're that's, That's what right. makes it scary to me. Yes, so you can sort of maybe see some of the smoke coming out of my pot, and it's a nice dark amber color. So we're actually at the perfect place for our caramel sauce to add a bit of our heavy cream. So what was in there before though, just the sugar? This is only sugar and just a little bit of corn syrup. That's okay. all. So this is a great recipe because it does contain such simple ingredients. Um, it's a wonderful one to make at home. Generally, how long do you have to let that come to, just let it come to a boil? Do you have a certain amount of time? Um, really, the thing that we're looking for with this recipe is the color. Oh, okay. And you can see this is definitely the tricky part because it wants to boil up. So one of my little professional tips is to make sure that you use a large enough pot. Uh, so a large pot with a handle so it's easy to control and make sure all of your ingredients are ready to go and scaled out right before you. All right. So, so this, all of these ingredients, you have a table full of ingredients, but that's not to make the actual caramel, right? Correct. Okay. I've brought with me some of my favorite toppings for caramel apples. So my class on Saturday is all about making caramel. So you could make a caramel sauce, put it in a jar. It's a great gift. It is delicious, accompanying some ice cream or maybe your favorite fall pie. Um, but the other thing that we'll be making is our caramel dipped apples. So I have a couple of little apple slices here if you'd like to help me out. Sure. Some of my favorite ingredients that I've bought have been salted roasted peanuts. A couple of other nuts. Oh, and you'll actually, sorry, go oh. right into the caramel first. Well, here, Eden, would you like one too? I'll trade with you. Oh. How about oh. that? Okay. So caramel right into the apple, and don't be shy. Go ahead and get it in oh, there. Oh, it's hard. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but it, yeah, so you almost so, would want it. Can we, you do, do this? Yes, bit? definitely. For okay. this part, I actually like to make sure that my caramel has cooled down a little bit. Ah. That way you'll get a nice thick layer. It's, um, it's still warm though. <laughs> yes, it definitely should be. Well, um, but it, it's great because if you can, if you can get your hands in there, it almost gives it a texture. That's the way I'm going to go with it. There we right, go. I'm going to just go down and dirty. and That's right. Just... So even though we know, Rebecca, that you could do this in a much more beautiful way, <laughs> the fact is if we had kids who wanted to take part in this, there's a lot of... <laughs> A lot of oh no! Had. Yes, it totally you? is. Does this upset you when you see this? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> this is why I teach classes. Yeah. This is I'll, exactly you it. do it. You do it. Okay. You do it. Show us. Oh. So for this, you'll just sort of scoop nice oh. down there. Get a decent amount of caramel on your apple. And then next, you'll just roll it through your favorite topping. So one of the fun ones that I brought that maybe people don't always think of is some cinnamon toast cereal. Oh. So we'll just dip it right there in our cinnamon toast yeah. cereal. We were trying to be nice about it, weren't we? She just gets in there. She does. And another thing, Rebecca, while we have you here, will you be doing some holiday classes as well? That's right. And actually, one of my favorite tools for making caramels is this laser thermometer. It is really fun to play with, and it also saves you the entire step of having to wash a thermometer. And I love to save people a little bit of time and energy in the kitchen. So. One of my favorite tools for this, and it's also the giveaway in my holiday class. Ah, so if you take her holiday class, you could win that thermometer. And anything you would like to know about Matthews, about Chef Rebecca, anything, we've got it for you online, RiverCityLiveTV.com. Just click on the As Seen on RCL tab. What's this green stuff I'm going for? <laughs>